Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our webinar, How to Sell and Succeed on Alibaba.com. This live webinar is designed for small and medium-sized businesses looking for ways to grow their business. We're going to provide an overview of Alibaba.com, which is one of the world's largest B2B platforms, and outline how it helps sellers target our 10 million active business buyers. Just a few housekeeping items before we get started. All of you, uh, all of the attendees are on mute. If you have a question during the presentation, you can submit it in the question box uh, within GoToWebinar, um, and we will answer these questions at the end of the presentation. If you have a technical question, you can also uh, put it into chat and um, we will answer it via chat. Uh, the webinar will be recorded uh, and we will email out everyone the recording of the email, uh, the recording of the webinar, excuse me. And it will also be available for viewing on shipstation.com. Uh, let me introduce our speakers today. Um, we have Jonah Mandel, who um, is the head of customer growth for Alibaba.com North America, and Krish Iyer, who's uh, from ShipStation. He's the director of strategic partnerships. And then I'll just do a quick overview of the agenda. We're going to be showing you uh, a piece of uh, ShipStation, the efficient domestic and international fulfillment solution. We're going to be providing an uh, op uh, overview of the B2B market opportunity. Uh, Jonah is going to provide an overview of how you can start selling on Alibaba.com, and then we'll have some Q&A at the end. So, Krish, uh, why don't you start? Wonderful. Thank you. And thank you to our attendees for being on uh, the call and joining us over the lunch hour. Um, first off, uh, what we want to say is uh, ShipStation, we are very excited about our partnership with Alibaba as the world's largest B2B platform for uh, selling in the B2B environment. And the, business, the mission here, of course, is to grow business to business transactions for US merchants and make global B2B easier. What's the case for selling online, particularly in multiple channels? Um, I think we all know from our personal lives that searches, uh, we go to marketplaces now and consumers purchase uh, from merchants on marketplaces, uh, particularly ones they trust. Uh, and the proof's in the pudding. Uh, for sellers out there, as you add channels, you see a major uptick in the orders. Uh, you simply put, your product is more visible to more people. But we feel on the ShipStation side, and certainly our friends at Alibaba as well, that shipping should not be an afterthought to you as a merchant. It is an extension of your brand, your customer experience, and can give you a competitive advantage. Now, how does ShipStation work? ShipStation works as the tool to import, manage, and ultimately ship your online orders from multiple channels and marketplaces, receive your orders, manage them inside ShipStation, print your shipping labels, and aut automate that process and emails and improve your customer experience. And use, of course, powerful industry tools. You see some of the names that are on the screen here, uh, whether that's tools and platforms in the warehouse management space, order management, EDI, ERPs, helping to organize the data and processes to create a better shipment flow and ultimately a better experience for your customer, um, customizing that workflow to fit your business needs. And finally, ShipStation, one integration and more than 40 plus global carriers, certainly around the globe here. Uh, it's not just the US anymore. Certainly a lot of buyers and uh, a lot of new channels that are opening up globally. And with that, I want to turn uh, this over to my good friend Kate to talk about uh, our first poll here. 
So Thank we uh, wanted to pull the audience to get an idea of the level of adoption of B2B sales. So please, everyone, let us know. Um, have you considered selling B2B? Are you thinking of getting started or you haven't considered it but are interested in learning and that's why you're attending the webinar today? So we'll give everyone about 30 seconds to answer the poll. All right, the results are in and it looks like the majority of attendees today uh, are not selling B2B uh, but are interested in getting started. So I think that's a great segue into um, the next part of our presentation where Joan is gonna provide an overview of uh, the B2B e-commerce opportunity. Yeah, great. So I think it's it's interesting to see that a lot of businesses, you know, today are, are selling B2C. And one important note, so myself, my team, the Alibaba Sales Account Management Customer Support Team, which is all based out of New York, we speak with hundreds of U.S. businesses on a daily basis. And a common misconception that, that we hear, uh, so moving on to the, the next slide, there we go, a common misconception that we hear is that e-commerce is, is just for direct-to-consumer businesses. In reality, the B2B market is actually six times greater than the B2C market. And a few stats that I do wanna share with the audience today, the in the US market alone in 2018, the B2B market actually eclipsed $1 trillion. And 60% of US manufacturers, so 60% US manu of US manufacturers do not have a dedicated e-commerce channel. So I spent the better part of the last two years, as I touched on before, speaking with businesses on a daily basis, really trying to better understand, uh, understand their strategy and how e-commerce plays a role in their revenue goals. You know, pretty much every day, I'll actually hear from customers, they had no idea e-commerce was used for business to business trade. The common belief is that e-commerce is strictly for B2C businesses. Great, and the, the next point that I wanna make here as well, so um, speaking with US businesses on a daily basis, Alibaba is, is very much a buzzword here in the States. A lot of business owners have no idea, you know, how can we help? What does Alibaba actually do? You know, we often hear Alibaba is the Amazon of China, Alibaba is Jack Ma. Um, we even sometimes hear Alibaba is, is taking over the world. So I wanna clarify for the audience really what we do and how we help US businesses. So for today's presentation, we're gonna focus on Alibaba.com. Alibaba.com is actually one of many business units that sits under Alibaba Group. Our mission at Alibaba Group is to make it easy to do business anywhere. And we do this by giving sellers the sellers and buyers the tools necessary to really expand their business globally, whether it be sourcing or selling. Great. So that leads to our next poll question. Uh, so we're wondering of our audience today, what percentage of your business is global? Um, are you doing 0% of your business globally, less than a quarter? between a quarter and three quarters, or is 75% of your business global? So we'll give everyone about 30 seconds to answer this. So it's interesting, Alibaba.com is a global platform with buyers from um, around 190 countries and regions. So Jonah will talk a little bit more about how um, users of the platform can target those buyers from around the world. Yeah, normally our, our calls with U.S. sellers and businesses really kick off. People hear Alibaba, they automatically think international, expanding their sales all over the globe. 
in reality, about 30% of our, and we'll go over this a little bit later in the presentation in more in greater detail, but about 30, roughly 30% 30 of our business buyers are actually US-based businesses. Great. Uh, so the results are in. It looks like the majority of folks are doing a quarter or less of their business globally. Okay, so that's that's interesting. Looks like the um, adoption level of going global isn't super high. So we'll talk a little bit more about um, the platform and how we help reach global buyers. Great. So everyone in the audience is probably thinking those were some great high level stats, but how can Alibaba actually help me in my business? So I want to dig in a bit on some of our platform features. Prior to doing that, you know, keep in mind, Alibaba.com, our platform has been around for, for 20 years. We just had our 20th anniversary in September. Um, until about six months ago, a lot of our, our tools and, and platform features were not necessarily optimized for US businesses. So my team, which is based here out of New York, we completely revamped the platform. We now provide local account management, sales, and support. I do want to dig in into a few of the platform features listed in front of you. I'm not going to go over all of them, but a few that really stand out to U.S. businesses that we speak with, one of which is the RFQ dashboard. So this is the request for quote dashboard. Essentially what we've heard from global businesses, global sellers, they want to be more proactive in actually reaching out to prospective business buyers rather than waiting for inquiries to come in. So the request for quote dashboard allows sellers on our platform to actually see a, a database of buyer quote requests. So if you are a US buyer, you can actually post your requirements saying, hey, I'm interested in buying a thousand red iPhone cases that have my logo on the back. If you are a seller in the RFQ dashboard, any RFQ that is applicable to you and your business, you have the ability to proactively reach out to business buyers. So that's one platform feature that I want to highlight. The next is trade assurance. So trade assurance is actually uh, protection, payment protection for both buyer and seller that lives on Alibaba.com. So when doing business with a, a global buyer, oftentimes you're not going to have the opportunity to meet them face to face or really build that trust that that face-to-face -face interaction helps foster. With Trade Assurance, this is a totally free service to buyers and sellers on the platform. What Trade Assurance does is essentially allows the parties to transact on Alibaba, and all of the terms of the contract are reviewed by both buyer and seller. If there's any issue in the transaction process, Alibaba will step in, review the terms of the deal that were agreed upon between the buyer and seller, and they will determine who was at fault. And the really important point here, if you are a first time Alibaba.com buyer and you want to place a transaction with a seller, Trade Assurance helps new buyers not only trust this, not only trust Alibaba.com, but also trust placing an order through an international seller. <clears throat> Exposure for your products is, is key. So I really want to touch on our search marketing solutions. And one important note is by signing up to be a seller on our platform, you're actually assigned an account manager. An account manager at various businesses can mean many different things. Our account managers, which are based out of New York, are search marketing experts. So they understand the Alibaba.com platform and really how to optimize the, the traffic that is coming in to your Alibaba storefront. So we actually see that sellers that adopt our search marketing solutions on average receive 86% more unique visitors, which leads to 64% more clicks and results in 25% more inquiries. Inquiries are essentially order requests that live on Alibaba.com. So with our keyword advertising, comparable to, to Google uh, with, with search engine optimization, you will link individual keywords to every SKU. So when buyers come to Alibaba.com and search for specific keywords like wholesale iPhone cases, if you list, if you list the word iPhone, you, iPhone case and you connect it to one of your SKUs, you will appear in search. So the dashboard displayed in front of you allows you to actively manage 
all of your keyword advertising campaigns, everything from daily cost, cost per click, and duration of promotion. And the really important point here, you know, as a small, medium-sized business owner, oftentimes you're not going to have the time to log into every e-commerce platform that you're selling on to track your different advertising campaigns. With Alibaba, you can set it and forget it. So essentially what I mean by set and forget is you can actually set a daily, weekly, or monthly budget that you want to spend on a specific campaign and rest assured that your spend will not go above that allotted amount. So buyer demand. This question is asked on, on every call with US sellers. They want to know a little bit more about who our buyers are on Alibaba.com. So it's important to note that we are not a category specific platform. We have individuals selling high-end sports cars like Ferraris. We have individuals selling iPhone cases. And as you see on the left-hand side of the screen, our, our top categories are actually food and beverage, agriculture, and uh, beauty and personal care. Hold on one moment, sorry about that. <clears throat> and I touched on this also earlier in the presentation. The common misconception is that both buyers and sellers on Alibaba.com are all global. In reality, the number one market in terms of our buyer distribution on Alibaba.com is actually US-based businesses that are signing onto our platform to find both domestic and international supply. Every business owner that signs on to Alibaba.com wants to target or penetrate a specific market. With buyer targeting, you actually have the ability to target specific buyers that are coming in from specific locations. The way we're able to do this is through not only our, our buyer verification process, but when a buyer comes in, we actually track the IP address and where that buyer is located. So you can set up your SKUs, your Alibaba storefront, and target specific buyers that are coming in from specific countries. So here's an example of a storefront on Alibaba.com, um, Hiawatha Log Home. So what we actually do, step number one in the process is we will actually build you an online storefront. This is your storefront to tell global buyers a little bit more about your brand, your products, and why they should purchase from you. So our graphic design team actually goes to work and builds you out a beautiful customized Alibaba storefront to attract global buyers. On your end, all you need to do is send us copy, content, SKUs, and images, and we build the website on your behalf. And here's another example of a seller on Alibaba.com. So Totally Products, they've been on the platform uh, for a couple of years here. They are actually a uh, health supplements provider based out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, in the past year on Alibaba.com, they've actually seen $1.7 million in annual sales, a 50% increase in, in headcount, that's internal headcount, just to fulfill the number of orders that are coming through on Alibaba.com. And it's important to note that, that Daniel, who is the CEO of Totally Products, actually signed up for our platform you know, three, four years ago before our platform was optimized for US-based sellers. So you know, he put a lot of work into making this profile a success. A lot of the tools and tricks that we've recently implemented are based on his feedback. So Daniel and Totally Products have actually used Alibaba.com to grow their business and they've achieved $1.7 million in annual sales one last important note on Totally Products, whenever they release new products, they actually use Alibaba.com to test the market. So what they'll do is if they have a, a product and they want to test the market in a specific region, they will actually use Alibaba and our geo-targeting feature that I talked about in the previous slide to test various products in different markets before they launch advertising campaigns in those specific markets. So in addition to all the marketing services that we discussed, 
there are a lot of promotions and opportunities throughout the year. One of which that we just finished is actually 11-11. This occurs every year on November, on November 11th. And we actually achieved over $40 billion worth of revenue on Alibaba. I'm sorry, not on Alibaba.com. $40 billion of revenue flowed through all of our Alibaba group platforms. We see a massive spike in traffic that comes to Alibaba.com during this promotion 11. A few other promotions that we offer that are specific to Alibaba.com, one of which is Super September that we just wrapped up and one that's coming up here in a few months called March Expo. And essentially what these promotions entail, we actually provide discounts to buyers on the platform and these discounts are, are, um, are pulled out of the Alibaba pocket, not necessarily out of the seller's pocket. So an example of a promotion that we might offer a buyer is free shipping on an order, free inspection of your products. These are all promotions that we advertise across various social platforms to drive more traffic to Alibaba.com. So about eight months ago, we actually administered a survey of all of our top buyers. So these are buyers that on average spend over $500,000 a year on Alibaba.com. And to our surprise, the number one request was our top buyers are demanding more U.S. supply. They're coming to Alibaba.com. Um, they're finding global supply. But the number one request was more was the ability to work with U.S.-based sellers. So in front of you here is actually what we call our, our U.S. pavilion page, where we actually highlight U.S. suppliers on our platform. You'll see a few food and beverage examples in front of you here. This is actually a page that we're going to highlight throughout the March Expo promotion. And finally, selling your products domestically is, is hard enough. Selling your products internationally can be even more difficult. Um, we want everyone to be aware that we're here to help. We have a U.S.-based sales support and account management team that is here 24 hours a day, seven days a week to really ensure that our U.S.-based sellers are finding success on our platform. And because of our partnership with ShipStation, customers actually uh, receive $250 off membership services. So definitely please reach out to me directly. Um, I'm going to display my, my contact information here. Um, like I said, our sales support account management team, we are here 24 hours a day, seven days a week to ensure that our sellers are finding success on Alibaba.com. Great. Thanks, Jonah. Um, I see we have a few questions that have come in. Okay, this one is for Krish. Uh, what are some of the best practices selling and shipping globally? Sure, uh, certainly. Uh, shipping and selling globally, I think the first thing is um, quite simply to know whether or not uh, your product has an audience um, and whether or not it's something that um, people globally uh, will take to. Um, a lot of times in electronics, although the demand may be there, um, issues like the electrical current, uh, plugs, things like that can sometimes be a factor. So really knowing um, what the market is for your product internationally uh, is certainly very important, number one. Number two, uh, starting out with selling your product globally in like-minded markets. Um, probably not the best idea to start selling your product in Russia, Brazil, or India, countries that are known for very onerous uh, regulations, but with countries that have similar like-minded tastes, like Canada, the UK, Australia, uh, and, and of course, uh, some other ones in Western Europe. So I'd say that those two things are first, uh, are first and second, and then I'd say finally third, um, finding markets that are high, what we call de minimis, meaning an amount that can be brought in, um, you know, a country that'll allow an importation for a high amount. Traditionally, um, Australia was known for a high de minimis of about $1,000 or about $900 US. Uh, that's since changed just a little bit, um, but there are plenty of other markets, certainly in Europe, uh, the UK, other ones where they allow a high de minimis and uh, relatively easy importation of goods and similar buying habits to the US. 
Got it. Uh, looks like this is a question for Jonah. What is the cost for a seller membership on Alibaba.com? Yeah, so today we have two different membership packages, premium and basic. So the premium package is $4,199. What the premium package includes is our graphic design team will build you an Alibaba storefront. That is the, the website that was displayed in the presentation. Um, that also includes $2,000 worth of advertising credit. So also displayed in the presentation, we went through some of the advertising campaigns and search marketing solutions. We actually put $2,000 into your account for you to spend on any further advertising that you might be interested um, in doing on Alibaba.com. That also includes an account manager, which is based out of New York, and they work with you on training you on all of the uh, search marketing tools that live on our platform. So that's the premium package, three bullet points under premium, you know, $41.99 includes $2,000 worth of ad credits um, and an account manager. The basic package is $2,399. The primary difference between the two um, is the basic package does not receive an account manager. They have a local email and, and chat support. Um, and with the basic package, they receive $500 worth of ad credits to spend on further advertising. Sort of a follow-up to that is the membership fee per month. Yeah, so we, we do not offer um, monthly pricing. It is a, an, annual, um, an annual payment of either $4,199 or $2,399. No matter what package you go with, year two, the price drops to $1,000. $399 and both packages do include the build out of your Alibaba website. And uh, one last follow up question on pricing. There is no cost for buyers to shop on the platform, correct? There, there is no cost for buyers on Alibaba.com. Okay. Here's a question. Uh, I think this one's for Jonah as well. How can U.S. sellers compete with the cheaper manufacturers in China? Yeah. I should say inexpensive. Yeah. So, you know, historically, buyers would come to Alibaba.com to find, you know, less, exp less expensive products from China. Based on the survey that we administered, you know, eight months ago, there's growing demand in Alibaba.com for U.S. supply. Um, we, we, we dug a little bit deeper into why these buyers want to purchase from U.S. suppliers. Um, and, and really the, the noteworthy responses that we received was they want faster turnaround time. So small business owners that are purchasing through Alibaba from Chinese-based suppliers on average are waiting, you know, 45 to 50 days for their products to arrive. So that's one. Another is, is quality control, specifically in, you know, food and beverage, agriculture, health, wellness, and beauty, any on-body, in-body product, these buyers are more comfortable buying from US-based sellers. Um, and last but not least, there, there's a large percentage of orders that flow through Alibaba.com that have some form of customization. These buyers want to negotiate or explain the, the product specs and what they need in a prototype to somebody who speaks their native language. So those are a few reasons why our top buyers want to purchase from US-based sellers on Alibaba.com. I think we have time for one last question. I think this one is probably for Krish. Um, many of our products are considered hazardous because they contain alcohol. How do you handle hazmat for international destinations? Uh, hazmat for international destinations, um, that's... Uh, generally something that's carrier specific. So uh, what I'd encourage is the specific policy that the carrier themselves has as far as hazmat um, would be the ones that you, you would have to look up and then see what our supporting documentation based on the carrier themselves is. As a rule, the USPS typically does not handle uh, hazardous materials. So you are uh, typically having to be inclined to work with direct integrators like a FedEx and UPS. Got it, great. Um, so I think we're closing in on 1.30, so we'll, we'll wrap it up here. But um, on behalf of the team, thank you everyone for attending and spending uh, your lunch hour or your afternoon with us. And um, we'll be sending out the recording of the webinar uh, for everyone and as well as hosting it on shipstation.com.
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.